And five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Thank Us Later podcast. Yes, it's Angel. It's your girl T.S. And this is episode number five. Oh, you remember that song? Mm -hmm. Mambo number five. Boom, boom. She know what y'all. You know, because I was in band class and then our band teacher used to make us play it all. Brand. Really? Who was? You was in band? Yeah, what instrument you play? <laughs> you play you play band? Um, I played violin and Ooh, yes, I did I had, a, I, I had a violin recital. My granny, she the only one that came. I love her oh. so much for that. I did. shout out to Adam. And then uh, I played the recorder. Girl. <laughs> Girl, you know my Kennedy just got her recording. She's she so happy. Yes, oh my girl. gosh! Come on, Kennedy. She's like, Mom, she Mom, we need seven dollars. Um, we gotta have a recorder for our music class. <laughs> like, what is a recorder? She gets on my recorder. Kenny like, that's a damn flute. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, it's a recorder. Okay, get her the seven dollars. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Cause I was good on that thing. That's okay. Good. I think she thinks that too. So I mean, my baby doing her thing around the house. So what did you play? Miss? I played the clarinet. Oh, yes. Pinky Zub. Pinky Zub, yeah. So I was in there from like, was it sixth grade? Sixth grade to 12. Oh, oh so you were band, Concert band, jazz band, marching band. Yeah. You are a <laughs> So one time in band camp? <laughs> one time in band camp. <laughs> band camp. Well, no, what we did, we didn't do band camp, but we always had to go to the um, field and practice for marching. Because in Hamtramck, we would have like a Labor Day parade and mm -hmm. we had to always gear up for it to march. So we had to like work on, you know, how you you create stuff right. and everything with the other bandmates. That band, like when you were marching band, the marching band uniform is so hot. I can only imagine. I've seen it. Yeah, I'm choked up. I've seen it. <laughs> Right, but yeah, that was really hot, you know. And then, did I, you have the hat? The hat with the feather, you know. I'm gonna show you a picture. My Please, it had a little feather on top. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole little everything, girl. So, do you think you can still play? Nope. So, okay, I feel like I did pretty good in band, but my cousin, who was older than me, okay, um, in our family, she's the musician. So, mm -hmm. compared to her, it's like. Girl, what you was in band for? <laughs> like, you my was crazy. She like, oh, I play at Har Carnegie Hall. Ooh, she Carnegie. was in band oh. at SAMU, and you know they don't play. Yeah, band. I know. So my little my little clarinet wasn't adding up to her saxophone. Like, oh, sax, girl, saxophone. Oh, like and she just really took it seriously. Me, I was like, let me get here because you know it's fun. You know, I get it's a class, it's an elective that right. It helped me get credits, and I know how to do it. So let me stay in it. But her, it was her passion. It was her passion. Yeah. Carnegie Hall, yeah. Big deal, you know. Okay, shout yeah. out. I did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, I'm, I'm learning new things from my friend every day. Did you know? Yeah, I did. Okay, just keep going. Um, I played the um in the band. I was on the baseball team. I was not good. You play baseball? I was on baseball. What were you, a catcher or a pitcher? I don't know. <laughs> so I would are. call myself like the entertainer of the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Yep. I kept the folks laughing. The entertainer I of the dugout. I rooted them on like, yes, girl. Well, you going to have to put on the videos, entertainer of the dugout. Like, I should. When, when you like put like uh, the caption like, we are studying your name, Angel. Mm -hmm. AKA, the entertainer of the dugout. <laughs> They were like, uh, the coach was like, you know, get in the, get in the um, left field. Girl, I'll be out there talking, entertaining the folks. Like, what y'all doing out here? Oh, what you doing over here? <laughs> hey, right fielder, you better stay ready because I ain't going to catch you. <laughs> but it was fun. I told my daddy, I'm like, daddy, buy me some new cleats. Like the Nike ones. The black oh, ones. so you wanted to name brand. Yeah, I didn't want to get them dirty. <laughs> I was now. How old are you? Oh, I was in high school. I oh, was, you were I got in there because I wanted another patch on my varsity letter jacket. So oh. I was in there. Like, you know, they had already had their team accomplished. But I didn't <laughs> <laughs> to get that patch. Because I was always the I was the cheerleading captain. 
So really, I had the cheerleader on there, but I needed something else. You couldn't just have just a cheer big cheerleader on the back. So I, I knew you was a cheerleader, but I knew you was a captain. Yep, I was a captain and cheerleading thing. Well, you ain't never saw me no more. Yes. You got a show. I don't so think more. I got the moves. Okay, no give, me, give us a cheer. Give me just one cheer. Oh, ooh, it's been a minute. You know, I graduated in two we, we, we you always got it. You always got it. Friend, give us a chair. I don't know. Friend, give us a chair. I don't know. Friend, don't stop acting like shy. I'm trying to think of a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Because I'm thinking, because you know how you hear it, but you don't really know if that's it. Friend, you ain't going to do it. Oh. Oh, go. We need to R O W D Y E. That's the way we spell rowdy, rowdy. Let's get rowdy. Woo! Hey! Yes. <laughs> you think I would know it, but you know I'm like Dory, so a lot of yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all know that. We, if you watched other episodes, you know which friend her memory is. Yeah, I'm taking pictures. But I like those. that. <laughs> That chair. Just wait for it next season, y'all. I'm like, damn, she remembers <laughs> things. She's like an elephant. Yeah, you're right. The fish oil pills are working. And they need to sponsor us. Uh, Let's say, come on, fish. Which brand? Which brand, friend? Show them out. Oh, mate, what is that? Okay. Doctor Tobias. Doctor Tobias. Doctor Tobias, y'all. I had to think about it. I saw it in my room. I'm like, oh. hey, you said spoke too soon. She ain't shit, huh? No, I said I asked too many questions. And the baby step. Baby step. I'm almost. I said next season, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So this listen, this week. So I don't know, friend. You know, I don't know how to cook, right? Mm. At all. Um, I, let me take that back because people always say, "Oh, you don't know how to do nothing." I know how to follow a recipe. I don't know how to make it my own and make it delicious. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm mm -hmm. learning how to do that. And so my thing, I say, no, who he married? Yeah, <laughs> okay, he loves. So him. he's the cook. However, comma he had mentioned. A couple of weeks ago, he was like, hey, the days I don't feel like cooking, he was like, you're going to be responsible for mm. either getting takeout or you're going to make us something. So I was like, okay, so it's getting cold. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you listen to our last uh, podcast episode about the cuffing season, it's mm. getting cold. So he might uncook your <laughs> my chili in the crock pot okay so i make two chilies i make the you know regular uh because we eat turkey meat so the turkey meat chili and then i make a um the southwestern chicken chili that yeah, sounds really good yes yeah, so i was like which one do i want so i was like let me do the uh, turkey i haven't made the turkey one in a while so went here went to kroger's that's what we talk i told you oh, i'm gonna kroger's when i need <laughs> <laughs> people that day <laughs> i went in there one time for that one meal Got my ingredients, came home, did all my thing, put it in the crock pot, smelling good, smelling mm. good. Made my cornbread. Okay. Shout out to, because I shout, we shout out to friends on this episode mm. all the time. We shout out everybody. So shout out to my friend Shelby. She told me how to, you can get the box cornbread, but make it your own, put your own little ingredients in there. So I put my own little stuff in my cornbread, put that in, everything. So the cornbread was a little bit later. Like I put it in after the uh, chili was actually about to be done. So it took a little time. So he was like, well, I want some cornbread too. But he was hungry. So he was like eating the chili. And he asked me to put um, Italian. So well, he asked me to put sausage in there. But I Wait, put Italian okay. sausage in there. He said you got to cook. He can't come in there and just add it. Oh, no. That's, that's, that's how he is. But I, no, that was before I went to the grocery store. So he okay. was like, he wanted. He caught he, you. Yeah, he, was, right. he likes my spaghetti. That's another meal that I can make very good spaghetti. And so he was like, can you put the sausage that you put in the spaghetti? So I was like, okay, sure. So I did that. So he getting it, he like, he's eat, he eating it or whatever. And then he was like, this is good. So the thing about me, like, I really, he, I really value his opinion about my cooking because obviously I'm going to be his wife. So I need to make sure. Plate, yeah. Like, I, but also about my fiance, he's a Mikey. Wait. So he eats anything anyway. Also, and he also, he's not wasteful. He like, so if you prepare something, if it's edible, he's going to eat it. Cause oh, he okay. just, that's just how his mind works. Even mm -hmm. if it's not good, he's been doing that ever since I met him. So mm -hmm. mind you. It, it, this that's is, really good though. It's not. Cause I want you to enjoy it. So he actually, he got his bowl. He got his little crackers, his oyster crackers. 
But he was like, is the cornbread ready? I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, can you put some butter in my corn? I was like, okay. you're not going to have to do all that with my cornbread. Oh! And they did. And they did. <laughs> Got him his cornbread. He's like, this, you know, this good. He's like, this cornbread, man, this cornbread good. So I'm like, okay, he might be beating my head up. He got another bowl, friend. And his best, one of his best friends called him. And he was like, uh, which one? He was like, I just finished eating this chili, man. Tim made chili. It was so good. He was like, that cornbread was really kicking. Yeah. So you bragging? So he not about to uncuff you this season. <sighs> <laughs> I said, I got one, two, three. I got three dishes under my belt that he really like. That's all you need, a good salad, because that's three days out the week that you got. <laughs> You good? You doing all that stuff? How's your week, friend? Week. What, what's going on with you? It's a good week. I'm okay. feeling good. You know, ready to get into this weekend. Don't have much planned at all, but it's just no? feeling like you don't really gotta have nothing planned right now. Just kind of You're feeling right. like taking it down because you did so much in the summer. Yeah. So now I'm coming down. So I actually look forward to maybe a weekend where I could just, hey. Do nothing. Do nothing. And that and that's doing something. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. Because it's literally like what they say. I read something that said um, these weekends are starting to look a lot like those 30 minute breaks at lunch break. <laughs> I said no. It's more like those 15 minutes breaks. Them 15 little minutes. Right? Because it's going back. Mm. Over there for well, you know, uh, we do have a 313 spotlight mm. that we mm. want to shout out. Oh, yes. And she's yes. like, yeah. yeah. Look at me. I'm looking at you like, look oh, at me. you do? Yeah. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. You tell me more. <laughs> What's going on on that 313 spotlight? I know it was one of... It was a uh, apparel company, I believe, was it? Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, yes. I remember now. So let me see. I, let me see, friend. Oh, you yep. got it? Yep, I got it. All right. So it is a company. It is uh, your fave is. And it is basically based on your horoscope. So all the, or should I say, is it horoscope or astrology? Or is it? Yeah. Your, your astrology your, sign. Yep, yep. So your astrology sign. So your fave is A, and then it's whatever that. Yes, I love that, that one. Is, you yeah. know I love my sign. Yeah, though. you know because so I gotta get that shirt. She a Gemini. Ooh, so I love you that your sign. fave is a Gemini. I'll be your fave is a Libra, or I feel like you can even mix and match the shirts. I wear my fave is a Virgo because I'm marrying a Virgo. That makes sense. Yeah, so I feel like you can do that as well. So they have every sign for you guys, um, all sizes as well. Um, they have black. Uh, shirts with white writing and white shirts with black writing. So hit them up again as your fave is. Um, I believe they will be having, um, oh, actually they do. They have a Instagram. It is your, so Y-O-U-R dot fave, F-A, V is in Victor, E is in Edward, dot is, I-S. Um, it is the correct. Gemini, oh. <laughs> I know it. Cancer, oh, I know it. That's your girl. I she know needs it. to promote with that song. Yeah, so this is my girl. Actually, um, she is uh, listen, multi honey. She has all the all and the then. businesses, but this business she just uh rolled on, out D. again. Yes, and she's calling herself the Scorpio King Queen. Okay, Scorpio Queen. Scorpio. Breaking hearts out here. Listen, she my OVO sis because we both born in October, honey. October very own. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, definitely shout out to you, D. Your fave is, again, look at, follow them on Instagram and get you a shirt. Yes, we made the 313 313 spotlight. 313 spotlight. And listen, as we say, and we may forget on some episodes, if you want to be on 313 Spotlight, even come and let listen the podcast over here. Thank us later. Thank us later. <laughs> Interview you and promote your, you know, promote your business or anything service that you have. It's not, it doesn't have to be a business. It could be anything. If you, Just say what you got going on. Listen. In the 313. And, and we, we, we have, we're we going to tell y'all about our promotions that we have that we out there what we got for okay you. now 
Yes, we have sponsor packages. We sponsor have silver, packages. yeah, bronze, gold, silver. And you know, right silver. now, you better catch them right now while our prices are looking really mm. good because we blowing up, y'all. We blowing up, and yeah. it's like mm, yesterday's price Ooh. is not today's price. Why Let's you wait for it? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> this um let me get into it before i get into the tv recap because that's gonna pretty much lead us in well no let's talk about the tv recap yes real quick. so insecure Ooh. so we told y'all if y'all didn't know go back to the other episodes so that's one of our favorite shows mm -hmm. period point blank yes it's now good. this is the last season I don't think it has hit me, so I'm not as sad as certain people. I see people on Twitter like, oh my God, I can't believe what am I going to do. I don't think it's hit me yet. Um, I watched the first episode. I actually, uh, me and my fiance was out for at a goodbye dinner. And um, we, so we didn't watch it when it first premiered, but we watched it later on that evening. And for me, I was cracking up from yeah. the start to the finish. Yeah. I was like, LOL. They was really literally in this episode. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. um, it really showed. I saw a meme and I actually posted it. It was saying that insecure message, I guess, or whatever post. It said that um, insecure really uh, displays adult insecurities. Yes, and they do. Like how Issa felt inadequate. She has a business and she feel like, okay, it's good, but then you compare it to other people that have been in a business longer or more knowledgeable about the business or whatever the case may be, then you have that insecurity. You have Molly just got out of a relationship and she don't know where she's in, you know, she's where she's going. going. herself and her dog. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then she got this guy that, you know, was crushing on her for, you know, in college, whatever the case may be. And then she saw herself repeating, you know, the same steps. I know I've been there, like mm -hmm. literally repeating the same steps. You got Kelly, like, wow, if I die, what's going to happen? Yeah. Is anybody going to care? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's like but that's how you that's how I remember. Like, oh my goodness, I didn't make an impact on any of these people. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really I personally love the show. I love where it went. The ending, and again, I'm sorry, spoiler, spoiler, because we're gonna talk about it. Um the ending I didn't like. But outside of that, it was fine. My my fiance and another friend of mine said too, they were like, Oh, it was underwhelming. Like Well, it is the first home. episode, so give them a chance. But I don't think it was underwhelming. Yeah, I feel like we were just cracking into it. We have a lot to unpack. First of all, my thing is, you know, Molly and um, Issa, they didn't end on the best note last season. Correct. So what I took from that is, even with Molly, it's like, I want to be close to you again, but I don't want to go there and show it. Like, mm -hmm. I get from her, the insecurity I get from her is like, she's not okay with being 100% vulnerable. She want to mm -hmm. be the strong one, but still she's showing ways that's like, like she said, okay, you know, well, me and Issa just gonna go do our thing. Right. You know how Issa ain't really rocking with you like exactly. that. Exactly. But it's how you, you know, you're gonna push us to do that instead of saying, hey, let's talk about it. Right. I feel like a lot of times, that's what I be saying, um, people don't want to have those awkward conversations, those real transparent conversations, so we can get mm. over it. They just want to push past it and act like, that's not yeah. that's normal when it's like it's some hurt there. You can see yeah. their their relationship that it's not the same. Exactly. But that was a very transparent moment for Issa to even say, like, I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. That I felt that whole part. Like, yeah. yes, she's saying she is in tune with her feelings. She's saying everything that everybody else is thinking. You right. Know, in your thirties, in your thirties, we looked at thirty to age turning to three three zero. Oh, you know. Mm, I oh, you supposed to be having no shit together, I girl. We used to. Fall. What? I want this, I want that, I want that. Okay, I need my credit score up exactly. Through the roof. Exactly. Okay, then I need I need a house tomorrow. Right. It it's yeah. the day before your thirtieth birthday. Mm, yeah, I was I was her. I was that person. So that's a real thing. So mm -hmm. just because she said it out loud, I feel like it's so relatable. Yeah, definitely. And then even with I feel um okay, let's before I get into this part, because this the part that I want to get into is gonna actually lead into the melan melanated news. So before I start there, can I just say Kelly needs her own show as Kelly? She is a very when I fan. say I and not just this episode, just throughout the season, she is hilarious mm -hmm. to me. And when I found out that she ad libbed some of her jokes, 
Oh, really? Yeah, I fell in love. I'm like, so you just funny. Yeah. So you just naturally funny. Yeah. Um, she commands your attention. Like, literally, um, when they said... <laughs> it's her facial expressions, too. When they said that she had the best stanky leg. Yeah! He was like, <laughs> wait, who was the leg man with Shy? She yeah. was like, oh, other leg. And can she get out of the other leg? Y'all, <laughs> they did play a lot of good stuff. Oh, did they? Did yeah. they? And then the one that robbed him. That was hilarious. You know, I cracked up at that one. Because Shy, he was like, she was like, Shy. <laughs> about uh, mm -hmm. and that's going to go into the melanated news is tiffany yeah who has right. my same name yeah mm -hmm. um but we're completely different um yes the, yeah the tiffany yeah i'm not her i do like i like <laughs> i like amanda still so much that i don't feel a way towards anybody she play that's true because i love her yeah, yeah that's so it's true. so hard for me to be like oh i don't like this person no, exactly Amanda Seals in real life we know you exactly know. she's bougie on the show she's funny um it was funny when they saw one of their classmates that brought their children and she was like should we have brought i forget that their daughter name and then her husband was like no this is our time like i love their dynamic mm -hmm. i love how they play um because he loved his wife like yeah that that man loved his He's wife like her, really her partner yes it's, it's beautiful yeah. i love it but um going into the melanated news mm -hmm. they yeah. have been getting at our girl amanda sales now we are mm -hmm. here at thank us later podcast yeah. huge fans of amanda sales we went to go see her yes. a couple years ago when she yes. came to detroit amanda can you come see us please and Pets thank podcast. you please and thank you because <laughs> We love you so much, and she has a smart, smart and funny, and what is it? Smart, funny, smart, black. funny and black. There you go. Mm -hmm. Smart, funny, and black. It's like us. Yes. Oh, like boom. Yes. You're like it was a good time, and anyway, yes, she was like, it was such a good feeling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that way, no. Look, that was such a it good was. time. It was like you was with your cousins, and you like, know we didn't know in nobody. There. <laughs> and it was first of all, let me just say, friend was on her way. She was driving. I was out there in the sun, so that team, but it was a good time. Everybody's, oh, you look cute, girl. You look cute. You look. Don't know these people from a you can know. of a paint. You know, if you're a Amanda Seals fan, you know your people. Exactly. And then the venue was so intimate. Yes. It wasn't a huge place. It was so intimate. We got up. We were singing before I let go. Doing a hustle, y'all. Hey, hey. Now she told y'all it's good enough to be good. It was perfect. <laughs> but it was a good. So, you know, she does all these amazing things. I know people, you know, they don't like her because she's opinionated mm -hmm. and she really honestly be stating facts low yeah. key. She say it and I think it's her delivery that a lot of people can't respect. Yeah, that could be it. And so her on this show, she plays the Tiffany um, character, which is, like I said, she's bougie, but she's also a in a sorority, which is AKA. Mm -hmm. And now people are like getting on her because her wardrobe stylist, the writers of the show wrote in, hey, we're going to put her in the real, uh, you know, AKA paraphernalia. And people are like, well, I'm not saying people. That sorority is like, oh my God, I can't believe that. No, she didn't earn them letters. Da, 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 da. Like going off on Amanda Seals, but she's a character. And if you remember, friend, I was saying, it's two different things. Yeah. Like when we're talking about Gina and Tisha Campbell. Mm -hmm. That's two different people. I don't understand. And again, if you're going to be mad at anyone, like the wardrobe style said, be mad at me. And not only that, do you think about how many people wore um, like sweaters and stuff that will say Morehouse College? Like they have like exactly lines now. Exactly. That have, represent these colleges that you didn't go to. Um, you know, they did that with a lot of what Bill Cosby in them era. Like yes, you know, they did. Yeah, they, they did. Wasn't, yeah. Well, you didn't think of Denise was going weird. But they did. I will say on those shows, they changed the name. So it wouldn't be the actual sorority. 
Hmm. Like, and even, um, I don't know if, uh, Fred, did you watch the Parkers? Yes, girl. Okay, so AAA! Yes. It was supposed to be AKA, but they changed it to AAA mm -hmm. to, so I guess, be respectful. So, so you're supposed to do that from what I just learned this, actually. I didn't know nothing mm -hmm. about that. I'm not in sorority, so I didn't know anything about it. But I was told that you are supposed to change the letters. You're not supposed to be that. Like, if you're going to wear them, you're not supposed to actually have Don't, the same letters. I feel like there's other shows that talk about the cute dogs. And, I feel like yeah. they did or it may be similar. I don't, I can't, because like, um, me and my fiance was talking about it. He was saying like how Stump Yard did. Stump mm -hmm. Yard was supposed to be, I get those were supposed to be cues, yeah. but they were not. They were, oh, um, the date. Oh yeah, 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 that, yeah, that's what that, I said. That, 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 that. It's funny that, that you remember is, that. that. <laughs> <laughs> How many times you watch those? Friend, like that? I watch that every year. Clearly, because Columbus short before he got crazy. Yeah, that he was, was a very my good man, actor. and he had a very big career. He, so. mm -hmm. listen, he made me mad saying. because he messed up when he was getting that scandal money. That that's was that that's bad. Really bad stuff. Yeah, he was he 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 his wife like and that. all that stuff. So that's it was crazy. horrible. So yeah, so they they really um got on there. But did you hear uh what uh, Issa Rae said? Mm -mm. So her yeah, let me I gotta pull it up. Uh, what her reaction to the criticism? Because you know our girl Issa Rae is also one of the yeah. favorites of the show. And um, here at the Thinkers Later podcast, like we love, we love some you. Issa we of the Rain. <laughs> And we still, we still, still extending it. We mm -hmm. still extending it. But um, this computer of mine is coming up. But I, I don't know if it's, it's thinking. But she uh, basically. Oh wait, hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Cause I got, I got a quote of y'all. Cause you gotta make was... sure you get it right. Don't have to keep it chewing, Issa. <laughs> no, cause it's funny, friend. Mm -hmm. It's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here she go. Issa Rae responded to the individual because. Um, the individual basically said that uh, this girl is not a soror and had my shield on her body. That's what she said. She said, don't do that again. It's wildly disrespectful. That's what she said. Hmm. So, and she tagged HBO. She tagged Issa Rae in there as well. And so Issa responded with a smooth text of, oh, shit. Let me tell HBO to delete the one of the upcoming episodes then. Hold on. I know that's right. Because, girl. It ain't happening. Shut up. Because, girl. Go back. go back and do what you was doing. Again, I don't have that emotion or any ties to that type of sororities or anything like that. So, I don't know what that is. I know what the sisterhood would mean. But it's a way to go about it, too. But it's a TV show. Mm -hmm. It's a TV show. So, yeah. Amanda still posted about it. She um, said, uh, I saw in her story, she was like, if she wasn't in therapy, the way people were coming at her, mm -hmm. she would be, you know, it would yeah, be horrible. Like, she probably get tired of being a strong person. Yeah. Leave her alone. Yeah. They come for her. They don't stop coming for Amanda still. No. Like, she hasn't had a break mm -hmm. at all. They hate her. We love oh, you, though. Friend. <laughs> Come and take this later podcast. Come and take this later podcast. Girl. Listen, we gonna continue to give y'all flowers regardless. Mm -hmm. So the other thing I want to talk about, I didn't have too much melanated news on this topic because or this uh episode because the topic we have, I'm really excited to talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. But um this did you hear about 21 Savage? Mm -hmm. Um is getting sued by Frick Nick. Why? What are you getting out Nick here? Friend. So this baby he ended up he decided he wanted to have a party um and it was freak nick themed birthday party okay and are you familiar with freak nick yeah okay but so yeah he decided to have this in georgia atlanta georgia and that's where the freak nick originated mm -hmm. you know and i never i never been ivy because i'm 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 older, but I'm still young, so mm -hmm. we didn't, you know, experience that. However, I I, I would have went. If I it bet you would have. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's plot. The plot. That's I'm plot. Say that. You yeah, know. You out there. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, so he had this. I mean, it was basically the same thing. Just the street was filled with people, cars, everything. Just how the freak Nick was, and he did not um shout them out. He didn't give them any credit to it. Like, I guess, because they do have the um, name trademark. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they're like, what, what you doing? 
you can't just use our name with saying this is a theme freak nick party and what? Not just... come on. that's what they said friend no. That's what they for, that's what they said. They gonna get me uh um, mm -hmm. because um <laughs> first of all if he wasn't as big as he was, okay, it's people in the hood right now that's got a freak nick something going on this weekend. What they saw them, they said sex we gotta have to sue them when all we ask that they acknowledge us since it was the a free event and they declined. Acknowledge you like how? For and that's the thought part I didn't understand. Um, because they, they go on to say, and these are again the when I say they, these are the organizers of Freak Nick. They said, uh, spending over a million to revive a brand, fighting negative public perception, and proving we can do it in two years with no issues comes at a cost. We cannot let others just infringe on that. So, no, when you hear them talk and we try to work it out very easily beforehand so freak nick basically was just like i guess they wanted i think they wanted something to do with his birthday party and he said they wanted no. the, they wanted to bring attention to them they wanted exactly to what he had going on because it's such a big thing it was all over social media so it's like hey let us ride your coattails since we created this. right you know because i'm telling you there's people in the hood that freak nick probably ain't chasing them <laughs> So, you know, they're like, they're like, no parts of that freaking. <laughs> so I'm and I'm just looking because I'm looking. I'm trying to look at that flyer again. They said trademark, but his freak Nick yep. Twenty One totally different. Does not look like their brand mm -hmm. that they have. With, they had too many celebrities showing up. Yeah, and that's what it was. They just mm -hmm. wanted that cheddar, but it was a free event, so I'm kind of confused as to why right. they thought they were going to make money on it. A good time. Yeah, happen. so I don't know. Just tell him sit down. It's I just hope, hopefully, Twenty One Savage and him can settle out, or them can settle out of court, or whatever it may be. Because I mean, it's just I mean, because I, from what my understanding, freaking was just for all of us melanated people go down there and just have a good old time. What's the issue? Like, why can't you just get it's bringing it? Actually, that's helping because. You bring more attention to it. Mm -hmm. Next year, somebody else is going to do something to Oh, you're right, friend. Mm -hmm. And Will Smith, don't come for me. I just gave my son a birthday party that um, <laughs> was a did. similar thing. So don't come <laughs> for me. All right? Oh, that's funny. Well, what is our topic this week? Episode number five. Boom, 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 yes. Boom, 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 boom. The topic of the week is the list. The list. What, what, what list, friend? Tell them. You know what women be doing. <laughs> you know. You know they be out here creating a whole list. Hey, the whole list for the man they want in their life. I did that. You did it? I did that. I started my list in high school. Mm hmm and I remember what was on my list. I was like, I, because I get reminded of it all the time now that I'm engaged. Um, I wanted a six feet or taller man. Hmm. And what's I, your height? My height? Mm -hmm. I'm five, five and a half. So he had to be six feet or taller. Mm -hmm. Okay. So six feet and taller. I wanted him to be a boiler. Boiler. <laughs> Um, I wanted him to be, uh, have a nice career. Mm -hmm. Um. You said this was 16? I was 15 when I made this. Okay. He was supposed to have a career? No, I, you no, said this you was going to be my okay, husband. This was, so how long, when did you, let me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself that my list would change every two years. When did your mm. list expire? My list got revised. When I turned 25. Okay, so 15 to 25, it was the same list. Uh-huh. So you kind of, okay, carry on with the list. So um, I wanted him to be, uh, he had to love the Lord. Mm -hmm. He had to be love the Lord. He had to be a freak. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you said, was that a non-negotiable? Yes, at that time. <laughs> that was a non-negotiable. I want him to be a freak. Freak in the morning, freak in the evening, just like me. Hey, that's my song. Y'all don't know. I love that song. And that's sad, though, because that song came out when I was six. But that's neither here nor there. So that's why you made that list. I understand. <laughs> 
I'm just getting ready to go over here. Um, oh, I had on there, he had to have nice clothes. So his shoes and stuff, his game nice. I remember it. I was like, he had to be, well, I'll put it at the time, he had to wear a name brand. Yeah. Um, and you telling me this this list lasted until 25. Uh-huh. Girl, go ahead with this. And you know, I you know, so those were just the basics. Yeah. But then when I turned twenty five, I took off. No, I kept the height on there. Yeah, because I, I was like, I was like, God want me to be with somebody that's that tall. Mm -hmm. I just kept, I just felt it, and I would date guys that tall, but I also would date guys that mm -hmm. were shorter too. So it was like, Nah, you ain't my husband because. Mm -hmm. God want me to be with somebody six folks. So you skip right over that man because he ain't. Did you like? No, I would date him. Uh huh. I just knew you were not my husband because you weren't tall. Because wish she was a little bit taller. I wish she was a boiler. See, this is exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. My list was very superficial when I was like yeah. 15, 16. Okay. Tell us, friend. What was on that? Ooh, list? I'm embarrassed by that. No, girl. come on. This that is... girl was. That girl ain't know nothing. Listen, she. That girl didn't know nothing. It wasn't until it was like my cousin had a boyfriend and I literally used to, like I said, every two years have a list like, okay, because different boyfriend. Mm -hmm. and now I know I don't want that. I want this now. I'm changing mm -hmm. it up. Change the list from your age. And my cousin, she was dating an older guy and he told me I was materialistic. Ooh. Yeah. I had never heard that before. I was, what, 16? But that was really how I was thinking back then. I was like, oh, you have, not only did you have to have a car, you had to rent a really nice car. Okay. You know, like, you, you had to have the latest gym shoes. Um, mm. Like, you had to be really handsome. But you also had to be really funny for me. Like, make me laugh. Okay. And then I used to always tell boys, like, I used to come from the beginning and say, I'm a Gemini. You have to keep me entertained or I'll get bored with you and I'll go on to the next. I was embarrassed oh. about that girl. Yeah. <laughs> so then as I grow up, that list has changed drastically. Like those yeah. things, I realized those things never matter. Like, because I could get that. I could literally find that person and I could still be like, there's still something missing, like the values. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, you got all that girl. He don't know nothing about God. Uh -huh. Girl, he ain't family oriented. Speak. Girl, first of all, is he smart? Preach. You put that on your list, girl. Preach. So I was looking at all like, I, and that's when I did realize when he said that, like, you're materialistic. I was like, I had did some soul searching. Like, ooh, am I? Because I, <laughs> I was. That was no, I have a question for you now. Because again, yours changed over two years. Mine for me changed like after twenty five. I changed it, and then I will probably tweak it here and there. However, comma. My question is, do you think that the things that you wanted, you you were the same person? Like, say, for instance, like, say you're like, oh, I want someone to make a lot of money. Or not, let's say not, but I have a good job. Do you think you, had, like, did you mirror what you were looking for? And do you have to mirror what you're looking for? I think now I know that just hearing a lot of different women talk and what they think that there's. The man's supposed to have all these requirements for the man and then may not bring a half to the table. Mm -hmm. That bothers me. But at like 16, 16, 17, where my mind was, I was literally under the impression that I didn't have to bring shit to the table. Ooh. That was like my head. Like, you're lucky to be with me. Oh, You better come with it all. And yeah. then I'll let you know if I stay around. And that's okay. a horrible, you know, way to think. But that's realistic. Like... That was the chapter I was in my life. Didn't know that. that right, didn't of know course. That yeah, we learn. Me. We grow. Okay. But now, I just, like, when people say, you'll hear a lot of women like, you know, I got a baby, but the guy on my list, he can't have no kids. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about Let's stay there for one second. Mm -hmm. I know individuals that are like that now in their 30s, and they say no. They, that's a non negotiable uh, or they, they like, I'm not, I got kids, but I don't want you to have children. And I'm like, how is that fair? Mm -hmm. How do you got these these requirements and you're not measuring up to your list? So, but I, for me, I feel like the list that I left, I, yeah, left with, because now I'm engaged, the, the one I, some of the things on there I don't possess and some of the things I don't even want, but I want my guy to have. What do you mean? So for instance, I wanted to make sure that the guy that I was with, um, when I, like after 25, I was like, I wanted him to have a college education. Mm -hmm. I don't have a, well, I'm a college dropout, but 
fine. But I I, I didn't finish. With Kyle Oh my god! I love that I album. Kanye West, please come through. Come <laughs> Gemini. Come and take uh, over the podcast. When I'm when I'm absent. No, I'm kidding. And um, <laughs> our host Tiffany will be nice to you. Um, Sorry, probably won't. But anywho, I um I wanted that in my mate. Like I was because I just feel like education that education. education and it's not even about intelligence because you can be intelligent and dumb mm-hmm. so i wanted it's like life experience i wanted a balance i wanted you to have that street experience but also wanted you to have that that education behind you as well and i mean i ended up getting it but that was just something that i just i don't know because i find it super attractive but i didn't want him to lean on that because i dated someone that leaned on his education and he was the dumbest person I've ever met in my life, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like, literally, like, I'm like, you're boasting about this degree you have, but yet you have nothing. He should just wear the um, degree on his forehead. That part. It was like, and then he, in turn, told me, you need to go back to school and finish school. Mm-hmm. But why do I need to do that? Yeah, I make more money than you. And you ain't selling me on nothing the way you act, and you ain't learned shit in there. Now you gotta send your I went to one of the top three schools in the country and but but you don't got no car. Yeah, that's I feel like he felt like and I think sometimes he might feel like I have to check off all the boxes mm. to show that I'm a catch. Like those mm. boxes came, he don't really understand why. Like some people are like, Oh yeah, you have to be educated and I understand that if you're like I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, and I feel like we have to have something to talk about. Right, I want, right. You know, okay, it's like, okay, I understand why you said you want them to, you know, be yeah. educated and stuff. But he, for him, he might have been like, I got to get this degree because girls, you know, and they have to tell her that I got my degree. And that's going to look like, make me look like a okay. I think it was actually what you said at first. Because he did, he was like, because I, he, reason why he wanted me to go back to school, he's like, because I want you to be able to hold conversations with people because all the people in my family and all the people I hang around with have these degrees so I want you to be able to hold a conversation and I'm like can I not hold a conversation now and he was actually and you can see why it didn't work out he actually would be surprised when I would hold conversations with people and he'd be like oh wow I don't want to talk to you I can talk. I just don't choose to talk to you because you're so ignorant. But it's the fact that you think that I am mm-hmm. not intelligent just because I don't have a ignorant. MD by mm-hmm. my name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, friend. Oof, child, so I have, that, that brings me. me to a question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just oh, caught gosh, the you, helicopter. Did you fuck <laughs> catch the Holy Ghost? Like, why are you drinking your drink? <laughs> Okay, so are men not worthy of finding their equal and creating a list? Men have lists. Mm-hmm. They have like they say women have a, like a actual physical list and then a mental list. But I, well, the men that I know and have dated, they have a mental mental list. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they should get what they want on their list. So as well. say it's a man do because I think some women they look at men like they bullshit if they come at them with a list. Like boy, some women do. I don't. Because I think it's a lot of women, Some like some women be like, you know, no, he should just be lucky to have me. And that's fine, but is she, where's she at now? Is she single? Because I feel that a man should want what he wants now, be realistic. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not about to get no, you know, Instagram model and all that stuff that look like that and then she also is intelligent and can cook and want to do all this and take care of you you're not gonna get all that so be realistic in what you want but you definitely should have a list and you definitely should have said well no girl you oh yeah wait wait what you you only take a shower once a week no Mm -hmm. i'm straight Mm -hmm. you know yeah i do agree with that i think that everybody should kind of have a list but i think it should be realistic i think that sometimes even when like with the hype thing, mm-hmm. I do get it, but I you don't think, think that, that was sometimes realistic for like, that's not a heavy hitter for me. Like, cause he would be seven seven feet tall and just just seven, a body full of dumb. Listen, know, I dated someone. Um, he was six six, almost six seven. He was like six six and a half. Oh, that hype for nothing. Who, Charlotte? Who? He was. Um, he 
was uh or is uh in it so he had a great job everything but he was um it was a cancer and he was he just had broke his girlfriend ex-girlfriend uh cheated on him with someone they worked with oh that's unfortunate so he was still stuck on that mm -hmm. and he was so like if i didn't answer the phone he's like oh she's talking to someone else and yeah. i said see this yeah that one's gonna work i can't that. Which you, I was like, because I really thought it was this. I was like, oh, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, the you, you Lord didn't bless me. You said cancer. You, I already did. You know. <laughs> you said cancer. Now, friend, we talked about the list. And, you know, you're revising lists and changing your list, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think you can, like Miss B. Simone said, manifest that person you want on the list? I do believe that manifestation is real. Okay. Um, the listing, I believe you can, mm. but you also got to be like aware. Because sometimes you can be saying, oh, I want this, I want this. And it could be, the man could be right there and you're skipping right over. I think mm. sometimes people make a list as a defense mechanism for not getting to know people for real. Really? Sometimes. Like, sometimes, like, girl, like, it's a nice guy. And I do know someone who did this. It was like, he is the nicest guy. He had the height. Um, he treated her like a queen. He played basketball. This is all the things that she wanted. A basketball player. You got to be over six foot uh, two. You know, um, he has to be um, built. You know, he has to look good. You know, she, her list never said that he had to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> they never said like he had to be driven you know mm -hmm. like for the future it was always just in the now so it was right. like if you look the part i want that like mm -hmm. you didn't even get as far as to get the gnome it's like hey you meet everything okay that's five things off my list come here i'm gonna right. make this work but it, it was a guy that was like sitting right there he was tall he was dark he was handsome but his body wasn't built in a basketball player it's mm. more like a football player okay so it was like hmm, i just can't get past that part and this guy I was have, so like so sweet i'm like yeah. no i have friends like that um i'm not gonna shout them out oh did you just slide mm. on your friends yeah because i tell them both of them and they're one of them won't date anyone shorter than six did she say six one or six two but she is tall Okay. She's five nine or five ten. So she wants someone. So she's like, I want to look up to my man. I want to look up to my man. And I've been telling her for years. We've been friends for years. I've been telling her, listen, let just see what happens when you let that go. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I get it. You don't want no short man. What if you get somebody the same as height as you? Like, mm -hmm. no, I, I can't wear heels. You definitely can. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, you can find, like, just figure it out. But the thing about it, you might be missing out on your blessing. Then I have another friend. She likes height too, but she's not too fixy on the height. It's more the looks. Like, you got to be six pack, mm -hmm. baby, wavy hair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just built. Because I go to the gym, so he got to go to the gym. I get that now. But what if he don't go to the gym and he not fat, but he not skinny? That may be something that she's thinking about, like, health-wise. Like, if I'm keeping mm -hmm. up my... No, she just going, okay. Well, it's superficial. Girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'll try. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but no, and I'll be talking about, like, listen, and then, but I would say this friend I'm talking about, the second one, she does give it a chance. But then when it backfires, she'll call me, and she'll be like, Tell me. See, because this is what happens when I don't do the da 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 And I'm like, all right. About that list yeah. So that's another thing that I want to think about, too, because if you say you stray away from your list mm -hmm. and you know he ain't something that's on your list, do you spend time with him and push him to change until you want him to, to I him? used to do that. Mm -hmm. I did that to two people that I dated, and it backfired. I feel like... Of course, I think in a relationship, you can tell someone what you like. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, if it was the working out thing and he didn't work out and I did. But like, hey, let's go to the gym. Let's walk together and do something like that. Like, for instance, my fiance, he loves to run. I run if I'm chased. Okay. 
I jog. Yes. I can walk very fast. Uh -huh. But I'm not running six miles for fun. Yes. No, that's not me. So our compromise is we'll go to the gym. Or my compromise is he'd be like, all right, I want you to come outside with me. Let's just walk. Mm -hmm. So I walk with him. We'll fast walk, but I ain't running. So I felt like he did that with me. Like he was like, all right, I like to run. I wish you would run with me, but at least we can do something mm -hmm. activity, go to the gym or walk together. And then he does like the six mile run or eight mile or what do you do? Oh, no, I'm sorry, 13 mile run. And I'll do a 5K. Yeah, so you, you want to do a 5K run. with me? Mm -hmm. I do a 5K for you. I ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. But so I feel like you can just be like suggest stuff and try to do it at compromise. But if you know, don't just be like, all right, you don't wear a uh, Gucci. I'm about to put you in all the Gucci and dress you up. Because if he don't, if he don't like Gucci, he not going to, first of all, he ain't going to treat it right. So it's yeah. probably going to be on the floor and, and, you know, mm -hmm. all that. So it's just like, you shouldn't do that. Because uh, I know someone that did that, actually. Mm. She um, didn't like the way someone dressed. And I'm just calling all y'all out. Uh, she didn't like the way. She didn't like the way someone dressed. So she was like, all right. Cause she she said um, he used to wear um, lawnmower shoes. What is lawnmower shoes? <laughs> now what is he that? He used to wear like so you know the, the gym shoes or he uh, had or sneakers shoes. or what people say. Um, no, no, but they was the ones that you would wear for yard work. Okay. Well, he was ready. See, somebody else was see, <laughs> see that on their list. Like, I love a good man that like to um, do some hard work. But she like you don't wear this. When we go out though, mm -hmm. and um, he, stay ready, ain't gotta get ready, you know. And he will wear certain, uh, like uh, maybe he will wear those, so he'll wear his lawn shoes mm -hmm. with maybe some um, some slacks, some dockers, oh. and then a little shirt. And she like, what is going on? So she started buying him stuff and to wear, and he, he of course, he accepted it because they were dating at the time, but that wasn't him. But like, I came on my lawn in this shit. Exactly, and the <laughs> fact about it is, she did all that and still. She couldn't. She couldn't even get with him. Get past like, it because she's she get, trying to change him. Into, that part. Yeah. That she couldn't part. see past um, that and see and exactly see what he was good at. Just accept him. Yeah, accept him or don't. Let yeah. him in. Or let, let him, him be with somebody, somebody else. else. With some woman that's sitting there looking at her grass right now. Like, <laughs> Damn, man, a good man with some good lawnmower shoes. Come through here. I'm gonna take him in here and cuff him. <laughs> oh, friend. So I want to say, I think so. For some people, they think that um, okay, I'm he he's not meeting my list requirements all the way, but I am going to settle and you know get him in the door, and then I'm going to keep trying to change him, mm. and eventually. He'll be what I want him to be. And then you push him away. Mm. You push him away and then you're wondering like, oh, okay, well, he went out there and he cheated on me. Well, he, you know, why? Why did he do that? And I think it's because he he knew that he wasn't what you wanted. Something mm. like some way, somehow people tell him themselves. They show like. You could be saying some things talking down to him and you don't even know you're talking down to him, mm -hmm. you know? Or saying some things that you don't like or nagging or nitpicking him. And that is, like, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So, I just don't feel like people should settle on their list. Mm -hmm. But I think that their list needs to be, like, it needs to grow up. Like, some you have to grow up and think about the things that really, really matter. Like, I had to learn that it had to be about my real, true value. Yeah. Not, like, the little things. Those little things that... Even if it's height, like, yeah. I would just be like, you had to be taller than me. I ain't that, that tall anyway, so I don't really need to waste all that height. It's a woman out here that's taller than <laughs> she, she might need you. Yeah. She might want you. You know, I'm not going to take you, you know, from that. But right. if it was a tall man, I'm not going to be like, mm -mm, I, you know, I don't deserve that because I'm not too tall. I'm not tall yeah. enough. So, I don't know. I just feel like the list should be realistic, though. I do think the list should be real realistic. Um, and that's why, like, after I turned 25 and I was just critiquing, I'm like, it don't even matter what it is. Like, like you said, those core things. Is he intelligent? Is he smart? Is he good with his money? Um, is he good with his family? That mm -hmm. was one of the things that I was like, oh, listen. What about, about um, like, spirituality and... 
Yeah, well, like some people don't even think about that. And that was number one. Atheist and not even know exactly. Or, or 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 dated somebody that told me he believed in the Lord, but he was just still like he felt there was no consequences for his actions. Like you can do whatever, and nothing's gonna happen to you. What are you talking about? And I was like, no, that I, I can't go kill nobody and think that's pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he was like, who said that? I, I, let me find it for you. I don't know the actual book. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like. He was trying to argue down about the Bible. All like, the yeah. time. And it was like, and out of, out of all of that, we were cool. He was a great guy. Um, just very intelligent. He had a son. He was super active in his son life. Like everything about him. But when we got on that my attraction was done like I didn't even like him anymore and he does he uh lives in Florida mm -hmm. he doesn't live here but I would go visit him blah 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 and so that was like a non-negotiable I I, yeah, I could even if I wanted to try to make, make it, it work, work mm -hmm. it would not I literally got turned off and that's mm -hmm. when I realized because again I'm after I'm over 25 at this point I was like I mm -mm. yeah I can't be with someone that we're not on the same belief. Because his views would have came yeah. out and everything. Because it sounds like he's really... Oh, he was... And, yeah. and, and he was older than me. So, so you know how people are when they're older. Yeah. They're like, no, this is what it is. Let me teach you something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Thanks, though. It was mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun. So I'm just really stuck on that part about like how some people think that they can have these kids and nobody is supposed to, like the other person is not supposed to be. yeah i think that's unfair i mean i don't have children yet but i think that's super unfair because you can't but what well the reasons i'm getting or have gotten should i say from my friends and associates that say that they say because they don't want to deal with a baby mama because they are baby mama mm -hmm. Um, so I or an ex or an ex wife, I don't want to deal with an ex wife, or I don't want to deal with a baby mom because them chicks, da, 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 I know because I'm one. Okay, maybe it was maybe it, they got to a civil point. You don't know, like, you mm -hmm. that's why you probe and ask questions, that's why you date and find out. Um, they also said, um, because and this is maybe one of the superficial things you were talking about. Um, he not going because I well, let me say, I said this, but I don't have kids. But I said I didn't want to date men with children because I feel that if you are a real parent, you ain't gonna have no money for me and we can't do nothing. Because mm. I like to travel. So he gotta show that he really, really got a good, good job. He would have to. Like mm -hmm. you would have to have a lot of money to be able to take care of your kids and date me. Yeah. So I'm not saying, of course, like pay my bills and stuff. I'm not that type of woman. But it, like I said, I like to go fine I dining. I half step when it comes to Exactly. Mm -hmm. Fine dining, vacations. Because you're definitely going in the door knowing. Like, oh, exactly. So and and I'm, I'm already like, oh, you, your money's tied up. You mm -hmm. can't do nothing. And that's fine, but that's not for me. And that's one of the things that people that do have children, women that do have children say, like, well, you ain't going to have no, you ain't got no money for me. Mm -hmm. You can't, but they, they say you ain't going to pay no bills and you can't pay no bills in here. Yeah. Because they have those expectations of having to pay bills, mm -hmm. which I think is dumb. I think sometimes like experience can um, trump the list. Sometimes if you experience like what you do like or what you don't like, it helps you understand like, okay, I don't want to go down that road again. Mm -hmm. it's, instead of writing this, Ooh, just yeah. this fantasy list yeah. and you, girl, why he got to be that tall? Because you know what happens? What? God shows you his list. Yeah. And then you said, oh, he shows you what you actually need and what you thought you didn't even want. Mm -hmm. Well. It's a one. It's, it's a one because you know one. that that's what happened to me. My superficial, he has to be this tall, he has to have this, and he has to have that. I didn't know I needed a man that loved God more than he loved himself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I needed that because, in times of my depression and stuff, it's not no, oh, let's go turn up at the bar. It's 
let's get down on our knees and start mm. praying till we hear from God and let him know and tell her, tell us what we need to do next. And that's good you listen because some, some people will fight. I God used to. Mm. Oh, really? I will be honest. I used to. My fiance, when we uh, first, uh, and it's going to be in my vows, when we first uh, start talking, not dating, start talking, he was like, well, in order for us to date, you're going to have to come to Bible study with me. Mm. And I thought he was playing. <laughs> But literally, I started to go, and it, at first, I promise you, I was just like, I was at in that mind frame. I was just trying to get in his pants. So I'm like, mm-hmm. this is what I gotta do and get in my pants. Let me pray. <laughs> and it continued on, and I realized he was serious. Mm-hmm. He was like, okay, Sunday, let's go. Okay, they having this at the church. Let's go. It was. Oh, he's pushing you towards his list. He. He said, this is what, he is worthy to have his list. And his list was there. Okay, Kevin, I see you. Listen. I see the power moves. <laughs> but I resisted that for some like, this is stupid. Yeah. This is dumb. What are you talking about? But and the more I started to have my own relationship with God, and then I was like, oh, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. This is something I want. But, you know. That's a beautiful story. Thank you, friend. Yeah, that's really beautiful. It's, you know, I'm speechless. I'm over here like that. <laughs> but I do want to know. I I feel like there should not be a list, but I do feel there should. And I want to know your you know your feedback on it. It should be deal breakers, mm-hmm. non negotiables. Mm-hmm. You, I feel like every woman and man should have non non negotiables. Like I, my non negotiable. Mm-hmm. What's yours? You cannot, and I repeat, cannot have any type of drug addictions. Oh. Sorry, I can't do it because I feel, and I'm talking about hard drugs. I'm like, you know, in in. What if he hiding it though? Oh, friend, I'm nosy, so you ain't gonna hide if it. He hiding it. He over here. Friend, uh, friend, I pay for publicdatacheck.com monthly. Yep. Okay, I would know. Okay. Um, money management is okay. another deal That's breaker. Big for you. Because I'm not good with my money. So, so I need somebody to help oh, me. Oh, here you go, Ben. You got the baby mama saying they can't have no sex. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just talked about this. Friend, you better start, it's you a, better start making It's a non negotiable. <laughs> it's a non negotiable. <laughs> my next non negotiable, as we just touched on it. You gotta, you gotta love the Lord, and for real, don't just I love God. Mm-hmm. You love God. Like, I know What's him. wrong with you? No, him. my granny to take me to church. <laughs> no, I need you to have a real relationship, and I'm not judging your relationship. Whatever, whatever level it is on, that's on you. But it has to be real. It has mm-hmm. to be authentic. I can tell. Um, on that. Oh, I just remember. I'm sorry, y'all. I just remember me and my fiance was just talking about uh, this guy I was uh, talking to or was dating or whatever for a little minute. And I was like, I don't know why I stopped talking to him, but I ended up blocking him because we was talking about blocking people. And I was like, I blocked him. Now I know why I blocked him. He didn't believe in God. Yeah, that's enough. Honestly, that's really enough for me. Yeah. That's right there. That's um, a big deal. That and um, disrespect. I feel like the disrespect is a non-negotiable. And, and I feel like that, I can see that from a mile away. It could be something as simple as you just getting loud. Mm-hmm. So that, so that, like they talk about the list, like somebody might be scoping out, oh yeah, there go his height, there go his, this, go, there go that. And I could be looking like, I don't like the way he treated that waiter. <laughs> That's enough for me. I see that too. Yeah, like yeah. I like to see you when you don't see me seeing you. So. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's it. My, I mean, my non negotiables, I mean, it's not that much. Yeah, mental health. Mental health is a big thing. That, and my, it's not that you have to have it all together because we all are trying to figure out on a daily basis, mm-hmm. but you have to be mm-hmm. aware of it. Mm-hmm. And if you do need assistance, if you do need help, <laughs> we're laughing y'all we i'm like this like we keep it real here so we record of course here at at my house and you can hear my fiance our third, our third co-host <laughs> our third, we're gonna have to tell him we yeah, come up here nice. i don't know but i don't i don't know where he's coming from but anywho um yes mental health i want you to make sure that you are 
aware if you do have some depression issues, if you do have anxiety, whatever it may be, I need us to work on it because if you you got some childhood trauma, let's try to start unpacking it if you not have already started because I just feel like that also plays a huge role in a relationship and I cannot and I will not beg a lady, you go hurt your back. Mm -hmm. I won't. I won't. I'm not hurting my back because I got baggage, so I don't need to be having your yeah, baggage. Yeah, so nobody want to have your back hurt all day. <laughs> well, this is sponsored by Motrin. <laughs> Motrin, how about us? How about us? So, touch my angel. Come on, hit us with it, friend. Touch my angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is going to be quick and simple because it's going to be around the list. So, hey, ladies, change the list from looking for the guy with the mm -hmm. latest J's. <laughs> Fast forward to your 30s, start looking for him with your 401k. Ooh, so That's a word. Yep. So, trade those latest That's J's a word. J's. Okay. For a fellow with a 401k. Yes, ma'am. Just kind of start making yes, power moves, you know? <laughs> Stuff that matter. Money moves. Make it real. Thank mm -hmm. you, Angel. Because it's just touch. Touch my Angel. Touch my Angel. Like that was good right? I heard you. Yes. yes. We're going right. to have to get in the booth. <laughs> record some of these songs. Uh, yes. Well, that was our podcast episode number Five, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna keep saying Ooh, five. Man. man, we getting up there, friend. We are really getting up we there. We getting up there. But I do want to go ahead and let y'all know. Of course, follow us on Thank Us Later podcast. Y'all already know L number eight TR, mm -hmm. and that's on all platforms. Mm -hmm. And then email us, please, guys. Yes. We need to email. A letter, please. Just give us something that you want to tell us. Want us to talk about. Please email it to us, or you can DM it to us on our yeah, Instagram. Okay? Yeah, definitely. We're really gonna shout you out. Well, we won't. It'll be anonymous. <laughs> yes. but we will talk if about. If you want to be anonymous, yes, but they probably do. <laughs> Send your listener letters in. Send them in, please. Let us know how we're doing. Weigh in on our topics at Thank Us Later Podcast at Gmail. Yep. Friends. Yes, this was a good episode. Yes, it was good. It was some good stuff. It was always good. It you know? was always good, right? It's mm -hmm. just like a flow. We just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.